Welcome back to Naturally Xandra. Today we're gonna talk about Creed 2. This is the Creed 2 review too. So, was it a good movie? Would I recommend it? Have I watched the previous ones and all of that good stuff? So I'm gonna start off with an introduction to um, my background with Creed and my significance of watching the film and why you should look for me, for movie reviews or tech reviews or anything like that. So, number one, I watch every Rocky movie. So, you know, that comes with the territory. When you watch a Creed, you have to watch Rocky, or at least Rocky, what is it, Rocky 3 or 4, where um, Creed's father, well, where Creed actually died. Now, you have to watch that, Rocky, to understand the significance of Creed 2 and Creed 1, of why that story even transpired. If you don't know, Creed is um, the last name of, of the boxers, pretty much. So, in that movie, um, Rocky was friends with... Um, Michael B. Jordan. I'm going to say that because I don't know his official name <laughs> right now. But in that movie, they develop a friendship, the movie before that. But then the movie that everybody, I guess what this movie is geared around is the fact that the Russian guy, which is a big bulky guy, trained hard, hit hard, um, he fought Creed. And he lost severely. He ended up dying in that fight. And if you recall, back then, Rocky was very good friends. And he was supposed to throw in the towel, but he ended up not throwing in the towel. Because of the request of Creed. Because Creed was too big for his ego. Um, he was big into the show off -y type of entrance. Um, he didn't want to back down. He felt like he had something still to prove. So that's what happened um, prior to make the transition to the Creed 2, which personally I'm going to get into now why I like Creed 2 and what my review was and if I like certain parts I like, certain parts I didn't like, but I'm not going to really spoil the movie too much. Let's put it that way. I'm going to try to tiptoe around the story while not spoiling it. So, as far as the storyline with Creed 2 transitioning from Creed 1, I feel it was definitely something that you would expect in Creed 2, given the fact that his father died by the same guys, but the fact that it's his son that he's fighting is what makes it even more because, you know, the Russians, they tr train hardcore. If you remember in the Rockies, Rocky had to go to Russia and train and he was climbing up this, uh, <laughs> up the staircase and playing one of my favorite songs, like, hearts on fire. Yeah. He was playing that. And then he was, you know, training as if, I guess, his life depended on it. He was being me. Um, the boxing thing he was doing. <laughs> he was doing all that so he trained for that fight and the same similar things happen in this um, Michael B. Jordan who was the main character who is one of the top actors in my opinion um, one of my favorite actors he and his you know wife to be transition into um, another stage of their life and Creed the whole legacy behind that is why Michael B. Jordan had to basically defend it. Um, so first impressions of the movie, when I first went in, it was hilarious because we went in and nobody was in the theater because we showed up earlier because we knew it was going to be packed. Now, five minutes after I posted a Snapchat video about that, everybody came in. So it was a good turnout. So you can say that this movie, I feel people wanted to see it. So first impressions when I came in was like, oh, I don't know if anybody's going to watch this. Like, if they already seen it already, that's what I was thinking. But the five minutes, ten minutes came by, everybody started coming in. So I'm like, yes, yes. I love, I love the essence of a movie theater when we're all sharing the same, um, we're all sharing the same emotions or the same feelings in that situation. 
So first impressions, we watch all of these previews for like an hour. Then the movie comes on, right? And I'm like, yes, this this is good, this is good. But it was slow at first. The kind of story kind of went like this and then it took off. Let's put it that way. So it'll be a point in the movie where you feel it's making progress. But at first, be patient because there is a transition of like getting to know the story of why he's going to fight Creed and discovering that and his relationship with Rocky Balboa um, goes through some kind of obstacles. His relationship with his girlfriend goes through some obstacles, but he ends up basically having a good turnaround. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but it was a good turnaround. It was a very emotional story towards the end and everybody was cheering and clapping in the audience and I was feeling so happy because, you know, I love to watch the, the combos and like how they jab, jab, you know, uppercut, lower cut. I love watching that type of stuff. So that was really great for me to watch. Um, now, out of 10, what would I rate this movie? Personally, I would rate it based on the emotions and, and the good essence of the theme and the backstory. I would rate it a 9, a solid 9. The reason I didn't rate it a 10 is because it was a slow start. And like, I was starting to think, would this be a good movie like 30 minutes in? But then towards more action it started really getting good it started really getting good and then you realize why this movie was created and why it took off and why people are so supportive of it because it has a good revolutionary story behind it and I feel you know if they made a Creed 3 I would I wouldn't hesitate to see it but I kind of would because it's kind of hard to go from this big, big storyline to like something else after that because this was a focal point that everybody wished would have happened when they watched his father die. So we didn't never knew his son was going to come and do fighting, but it was expected when it finally came out, we knew it was going to happen. So I would give it a 9 out of 10. It's, it's rated good for me. Definitely go see it. Date night is what I did. You can go see it in any way. Go see it with your family. Go see it. It's kind of like I got that same essence of that hardcore Michael B. Jordan like I did from um, Black Panther. I got that same type of like, yes, I'm going to kill this role. And he did an amazing job. Rocky Balboa, the character for that, played a good job. His girlfriend played a great job. And you guys are going to love it. So 9 out of 10. Make sure you go see the movie. And thank your girl for hooking you on to go and see that movie and giving you a push. So make sure you see it little tip in daylight hours because that's going to be where less people are going to be there and also where you're going to save some money now if you want to go later in ohio the tickets were about 22 dollars for two people which is a steep level plus you get popcorn and drinks if you decide to do that i always feel the essence of movie so i always get that but no, put that whole package deal together. Make sure you get in a good spirit. Don't come in with an attitude. Don't come in angry. Just come in with an open mindset. And I promise you, when you leave to see Creed 2, you're going to enjoy it. Okay, that's all for now. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Let me know down below if you've seen the movie, if you liked it. What would you rate it? Nine, you know, 1 to 10, 0 to 10. What would you rate it on that scale? And... Make sure you follow me on all social media sites. For now, Twitter and Facebook is the only two where you can find me on Naturally Zandra. But Instagram coming soon. Snapchat coming soon. Snapchat is coming soon. I just have to go back in and log in and make sure I get the name because I don't want it to be different. You know how that is. So I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm about to record the next one next. And I told y'all, Naturally Zandra is back. Let's get it. Bye. I don't wanna waste no